Good morning, clean team. Miles here with Advanced Cleaning Systems. Uh, Pops and I are going to be cleaning some VCT in today's video. If you watched the last video, you saw us come do the estimate on this. Pops has already started. Look, he had a smart idea this morning. We have an electric blower, and he's just blowing all everything right here. Everything that's on the floor into one spot, then we're going to sweep it up. A little bit quicker than sweeping. Never thought about this. But yeah. Um, this is today's project. Right now it is 9.09. .09. And we are ready to get started. Um, what time do you think we're going to be out of here today? I'm calling 3 o'clock. You want to tell them what you told me earlier in what? the van? Uh, work expands to fill the time allowed. So if you got until 5 o'clock, it's going to take you to 5 o'clock. My dad called me a long time ago. So I'm giving us the 3 o'clock. All right, clean team. Dad is calling three o'clock. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take some before pictures, and we're gonna go ahead and get started on this project. We're gonna work on these hallways first, and then we're gonna work our way in here. You'll probably get most of the video in here. I just keep the camera rolling throughout the cleaning as I usually do. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my future uploads. And yeah, just stick around to the end so you can see the end result. A few moments later. All right, clean team. So um, it is 11:55. I'm talking to clean team right now. It's 11:55. Um, we're moving a lot slower than what we actually thought we were. So we had to take off our squeegee right here. Uh, we had it. We don't do VCT as often as we do everything else. So we had the squeegee um, propped up, and it's not connected to the floor all the way. So it um, it's kind of slowing us down. We had to on this side, like in the hallways. We had to squeegee it towards it, and uh, it's just been a real headache. So what we did is went to the shop, and we had to get this right here. So we're gonna try to do it this way in the bigger area, and um, hopefully it speeds up a little bit. But yeah, three o'clock, I think that's out the window. What you, what time do you think we're gonna be out of here now? Since you know we've been slowed down a little bit. Uh, we left for an hour. I still give it. Let's try to make four o'clock. But what we're going to do in this area right here, clean team, is just break it up into, I would say, two, sec two sections. We're going to do this area, the big one. Right here we already have our solution laid down. Stop at this board right there on the same on both sides, you know, nice even line. And then we're going to do this side, probably stop right here and do the bathrooms. It's not going to be any fun doing these bathrooms, honestly, because look at this. The detail work is going to suck in here. Going around toilets, that's never fun. But somebody has to do it. The buffer definitely is not going to fit in here. So yeah, right now dad is getting a little scrub-a-dub-dub -dub going. There's a lot of wax over here in this corner also. So we're going to get some recording time right now. A lot of wax on the floor. Yeah. Going straight back. Yeah. Right. I've already went ahead and uh, did the detail work, like in the corners. Speed up the process a little bit. So you can kind of tell the difference already. So um, dad is just about done with this little section right here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, start vacuuming this. The last thing you want with a um, stripper is for it to go ahead and dry up on you. That means you just basically have to do it over again. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this. Uh, we got the clean water mop already ready to go. I haven't tried it with this little extension on there. First time for everything, y'all get to see it.
this section is good to go. So we already uh, stripped it. Now we just have to wait for it to dry. And uh, yeah, looking pretty good. The floor is kind of uneven. I noticed right here in this spot, got some wax right there and right here. So we're gonna go over these spots a little bit. Another cool thing you guys probably don't know is if you notice, he has his finger right here. This trigger is releasing water. Um, it's coming like through this line right here. You wanna tell him why you're doing that? Yeah, it just gives us more time to recover the stripper before it dries up or it just gets too foggy. Uh, that's why a lot of guys paint stripping and waxing VCT floor because stripper dries up really fast it's super gummy sticky and messy it's a messy and, uh, job so if, if you, you release a little water while you're scrubbing it just gives you a lot more time to recover as you can see i finished all that and i was in no hurry to vacuum that up because we got plenty of time right so, but if we use hot water or if we didn't if we didn't uh, release water as we scrub, we have to be right on it. Sounds like you know what you're talking about. A little bit. <laughs> Done this a couple times. A couple times. But does it, it scrubs it at the same time or? No, uh, it just drops it close forward. Really? Yep. And then. Like, like the auto scrub we use at the shop, you can use something like that on VCT? That's what it's for, VCT. That's just really oh, you just use it? VCT. Okay. You just change a pad and use it at the yeah, shop. I, I like your battery power auto scrub. So you don't have to push it. Anything bigger than that, we would just, you know, let Steve do it. Right. But, Anything, I would say 5,000 square feet under, we need to get some, you know, good equipment so we can knock it out, you know? Yeah. Um, it's not bad doing VCT. I, I, yeah. For me, it's always to get mentally prepared. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you'd be dreading the job the week before. All right, clean team. So right here in this corner, I didn't do the detail work on this side yet. As you can see in this corner, let's see if y'all can see it. Right here, it still has some wax. So we're gonna go ahead and get that up. Yeah, I didn't know they made machines like that though that lay every, lay everything down for you. Just get a nice trailer. Would you wrap the trailer like the van? Yeah. All right. So what I need to go ahead and do is mop this over here before it dries up on us. Can you uh, finish this up for me? Appreciate it, mate. Teamwork makes dream work. again went over those two areas I showed you a little bit earlier still had a little bit of wax on 
Wait, this is oh this is tape so this isn't even wax where's the tape what the heck but you can always feel stuff like this when you're uh, mopping over it and actually mopping is like the most important step because well, this might be wax I don't know what this is but mopping is the most important step because it's the last step before the wax goes on. So you have to have a really good eye for stuff like this. If you wax over it, you're gonna be able to see it. Kind of stubborn though, goodness gracious. This is one coat, correct? Yep. And over here is what, three? It's only one. That's the first one. Now, two of that is hallway. It's the first one right here. It's still wet. I left it so I can walk back and forth. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm zoomed in on your butt. We didn't waste an hour going to get the um, the tool for the um, wet vac. Would have been three o'clock, perfect timing, like you would have said. So right. that was a good job right there. I was say two o'clock. Oh yeah. <laughs> We've been gone an hour ago. Yep. You right on time. We perfect gone. timing. <laughs> perfect timing. I'll get ready to call you. <laughs> Lay the last coat. It's still wet. Put some signs on the doors, though. Well, it's still wet. That looks a little bit better than it did this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, clean team. Um, that's the end of today's video. I went ahead and took pictures when we had our second coat of wax on there. We actually put three, so um, yeah, the last coat looks amazing. Maybe I should have took the after pictures with the third coat. I don't know. You can tell a big difference between the two, but yeah. You're seeing the second coat on the um, after pictures, but it turned out well. It's 3.55 now, and uh, Dad was right on time. So now we're just going to head to the shop. I told you I was going to answer some questions, but I got sidetracked and started doing some stuff. So yeah, we're going to go back to the shop. We're going to empty out the van, and I'll just do a little Q&A, answer some questions then, and that'll probably be the end of the video. So 
I'll see you guys in just a second. Yeah, I need to get some in the morning. Run out of gloves, but all right, let's see here. What is your water bill every month? <laughs> Love these videos, great angles and sounds. 50 to 60 bucks tops. Yeah. Do the rugs or carpets have an odor before cleaning or are the order odors pretty neutral until you start the cleaning process? Um, yeah, they usually stink pretty bad. You guys can't smell them, but yeah, they stink pretty bad. And once you get started cleaning, it doesn't get any better until it's rinsed all the way out. Is there a grout cleaner you can recommend that we can purchase at the store? I mean, there's one at Home Depot. I would just tell a homeowner to stay away from anything acidic because it can damage your appliances. stainless steel appliances. Yeah. So uh, you can you can pick up a decent tile and grout cleaner at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, the problem is you just need to be able to rinse it out well. Yeah, BZB8933. She's been subscribed for a long time. She always comments. You ready for this question? Yep. She says, I got a question. What type of cleaning solution do y'all use for carpets? I faintly remember you saying in a video once that it smells like oranges. Can as regular non pro cleaning folks purchase it or not? Nah? Also, seeing your bro struggling to get out of his shirt was hilarious. Game seizing. Um, when I told you it smelled like oranges, that's because. Um, it had delaminine and that comes from the orange, so helps cuts through oils and greases. So yeah, it's a natural citrus. Yeah. Um, do you know any carpet cleaning treatments that they can use or nothing that I recommend um, because everything that that's available to homeowners leaves a ton of residue. All right. That just makes it, it harder just for the cleaner. Quickly, and it just makes it harder for us to clean it, to right. rinse the carpet out. So. Uh, let's see here. Fun video. Quick question: Why did you? Why didn't you unzip the pillows, remove the foam pads, and then toss the cases into the washing machine? That's how we do your hours. You are pro, which means I missed your reasoning. Thanks again for the video. They're always enjoyable. Well, the worst thing that can happen would be that <laughs> they shrink and you can't get them back in. <laughs> yes, that would suck. Another reason we don't do that is because if you wash them and they shrink at all, a little bit, and the cushions become lumpy and they don't quite meet together like they once did. So, right. Um, that's not a good idea. Only way I can see it ever working is if you made sure you put the covers back on while they were still damp, but it's just not a good idea. Can you wax the floor tiles? If yes, what are pros and cons? They're talking about regular tile. Can you wax regular tile? You can wax any kind of tile. Yeah, but when it's time to get it cleaned... You've got to be a <laughs> professional to strip it off. Yeah. So we wouldn't recommend it. I've actually cleaned tile that had wax on it and um, it was a heck of a job. We didn't know it had wax on it at first until we started cleaning. And um, we had to use some stripper on it. <laughs> oh, this is a nice, well, it's not a question, but this came from the, um, the rug video where we tested the water as we cleaned it. Right. It said, it'd be an interesting video to hear your dad's thoughts on how he would have cleaned a carpet like this back in the day before the tech you have now. Will the chemicals have been the same? Could he have gotten the results like now? And if so, how long would it have taken? Awesome as usual, guys. Go, go clean, team. Um, yeah, I could have got the same results. I would have used the same chemistry. Yeah, and back then I was not even charging half of what we charge now and working very hard to to get the same result so yeah I could have done it but yeah it would have been a lot harder and took a lot longer what happened to your left arm <laughs> I was in a dirt bike wreck had a couple of surgeries that's the scars you guys get to see every video all right that's pretty much all the questions that we're gonna answer today um, I don't know if you can tell but I'm tired pops is tired we're gonna sleep well tonight um, thank you guys for watching today's video ashy to classy i don't know what the rest of the name is going to be yet but yeah transformation went well the before and after pictures look amazing um yeah our customer was happy and the job went well so 
Anything you want to say? Thank you guys for watching. We'll see y'all in the next one. All right, clean team. I'll see you in the next one.